Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New Yorker crossword for Monday, February 1st, 2021. Alright, this puzzle is titled A Challenging Puzzle, so this is, since it's a Monday, a Monday New Yorker puzzle, this is the most challenging puzzle of the week for the New Yorker puzzle, so let's get started. Alright, squishes. Hmm. I'm guessing maybe it ends in an S at least. Can we maybe build off of this? Blank change. Maybe that's C change. Like a really, really giant change. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm a little nervous to look at these long crosses here. Maybe, maybe we can start building out some of these downs. Head sail. Hmm. I wonder if this is actually sailing like it sounds like, or if it means something else. Member of the South Asian Diaspora. Oh man. Um, hmm. I don't know if I know what this is talking about. Interesting. Classic Jean Renard film, La Blanc du Jeu, The Rules of the Game. <laughs> no, French. I'm not going to get that one. River in 1976 news. I wonder if this is not a river of water. I wonder if it's going to be somebody's name. Um, it's not going to be River Phoenix, but maybe somebody else with the name River? Hmm. I can't think of another person. Joan, it's Joan, is Joan Rivers with an S, so it can't be that. Hmm. Pellet Pelter. So, someone that shoots pellets? Is that a. Hmm. It's not like a blowgun. Hmm. Is it like a straw? You shoot. Like spitballs through a straw, right? Maybe? Hmm. Boy, I'm not having any luck up here. Church opening. Hmm. Oh, I mean, my first instinct is to just put apps, um, which is like an area of a church, but I don't know if it's an opening. Blank vacation. Boy. Creeps. Okay, this could be like slowly moving along, or it could just be creepy people. Hmm. Inches along? That's too short. Hmm. Punny slogan about Cornell's beautiful, craggy, upstate environs. All right. All right. Maybe we can get a toehold here. I got a kind of a ringer since I'm from upstate New York. This is a slogan you'll see on t-shirts all over upstate New York. It is Ithaca is gorgeous. All right. You know, that definitely appeals to me in my punny nature. So yeah, that's a great. That's a great phrase. Love to see that on the puzzle. Okay, so maybe this is gonna help us get a toehold into the northern section of this puzzle. One of three X's or O's. Uh, okay, so I guess that's in tic-tac-toe. That'll be tick, maybe? Taper off. It's not a bait. That's probably what I put would have put in if I didn't have this I here. Wait a minute. Is it Ithaca? Is Ithaca spelled like this? Ithaca? It might be. Yeah, so let's put in a bait. Okay, I like that. Dennis, who wrote Shutter Island and Mystic River. Oh, huh. Well, I've seen both of these movies, but I don't know if I know who wrote them. I wonder if the name will be familiar when we get more letters into it. Fuel for a Brit. Okay, so this is going to be like the British spelling of uh, maybe it's not. Oh no, yeah, it is. It's 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 the British term for gasoline, which they call petrol. Yeah, excellent. Sometimes they'll. This, I'm I'm surprised this is clued as easily as it is because sometimes it's like. They, they just give you the slightest little indication that it's um, they're asking for a British clue. And yeah, they can get real tricky with that kind of stuff. 
All right, cheer for Pele is Olay. Get fit. Uh, is it work out? No, that's too long. Beginning of fall. And it's a wordplay clue. Hmm. It's not like the letter F, really. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Can we get this along now? Squishes, maybe splats? Yeah, that seems plausible. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I know this person, this screenwriter. Or maybe they were novels before they were movies. Send in a box, say. Maybe ship two? That could be. Creeps. Herbie Hancock? <laughs> I have a feeling that's not right. Um, hmm, interesting. Heebie Jeebies. Yeah, there we go. That makes a lot more sense. Heebie Jeebies. Sometimes I just like to say what comes to me, and sometimes it's right, and sometimes it's <laughs> really, really wrong. That was one of those cases. Okay. Um,. Beginning of fall. Pratt fall? Oh yeah, like a comedy fall. Interesting, okay, yeah. Get fit. Is it like getting fit at a tailor maybe? Hmm, that's, I, I'm getting that, that feeling from it, but hmm. No, no, it is working out, it's tone up. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I have definitely not heard Dennis Lehane. Is he a screenwriter or a novelist? Hmm. Okay, head sail. Oh, I guess it's a jib. I, I wouldn't have been able to come up with that without these other two letters, but I have heard of a jib. I know it has something to do with sailing. That's my ex the extent of my knowledge about it. Co-founder of the nuclear energy company Terra Power. Hmm. I feel like I've maybe heard this name before, Terra Power, but... I wonder if this isn't a person. I wonder if it's a company name. Hmm. It's not Richard Branson, right? Branson, that's too short. Hmm. Oh yeah, these were all really hard. I mean, this could be a, a, a liquid river. It doesn't have to be a person. Hmm. Okay, so this is not apps. Hmm, church opening. Is it a different kind of church? Hmm. Interesting. Boy, this section is really tricky here. I wonder if we can get some of these smaller ones. Yeah, okay, this this is a French word that I do know. This is eau de toilette, which literally means <laughs> uh, water. I think it literally means toilet water, but it means um, perfume, actually. It's like water you use in the restroom is the probably more reasonable translation, not, not toilet water. Okay. Um, hmm. Huh, interesting. Yeah, this is just not looking familiar to me at all. Circus? Does that make sense? I don't really see how that would make sense. Nick nominated for an Oscar for the 1997 film Affliction. Is it Nick Nolte? Hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that he would have been nominated for an Oscar, but there you go. And that was kind of during his prime, right? State whose Senate proposed an annual Toni Morrison Day in 2020. Well, if that O is right, I think it has to be Ohio. I wonder if Toni Morrison's from Ohio. Bit of a giggle. Hmm. Is it just he he, maybe? H-E-H-E? -H -E? Took care of. 
uh, maybe like settled. Like you can settle a score or settle a bill. Take That would be take, taking care of it in both senses, I think. Burn up inside. Yeah, that could be seethe if you're super angry or seething. Divers target diver. What's the pun here? Hmm. Is it a golf? Is it a golf pun? T? T E E? I don't think I've ever heard the word diver in relation to golf. I don't think it's T E A either. Hmm. This is looking like H E H E though. Maybe we should look at this long answer here, or the long clue. Online competitor of HuffPost and Bloomberg. So it's a online magazine or a news site. Hmm. I, I don't know if I recognize this. I might need a little bit more help here. Villainous grin. Is that just a sneer maybe? Oh, divers target like high diving. Like an Olympic high dive. You'd want to score 10, right? Okay. Oh, is it Bill Gates? Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. He's into big projects like that. Okay, so what is this? Mega church. Okay. It's just looking for a prefix to go in front of church. Yeah, I probably should have been a little bit more um, thinking a little bit more laterally there. I was. I think I was still thinking too literally. An air gun. Okay, yeah, I was kind of close. Yeah, you shoot pellets with an air gun. Is it Ebola? Is the is the is the virus named after a river? Hmm. I guess maybe that's possible. Uh, is it Desi? Interesting. I know that's kind of used to describe like an ethnic group, I believe. So yeah, I guess that would make sense. Uh, dream vacation. Okay. Well, I'm glad that was gettable because I was not going to get this. La rail. Du jeu? La rail. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's see if we can break into the middle here. Japanese kitchen supply. Maybe is udon. Udon noodles are one of my favorite foods. Parker of Waiting for Guffman and Best in Show. Oh, those are the Christopher Guest movies, but I don't know if I'm going to know this. The actor. I think it's an actor they're asking for. School assignment. Hmm, maybe a desk. You're assigned a desk at school, right? And this is a little bit of a tricky... <laughs> this is an unindicated uh, wordplay clue, I think which I'm not surprised to see on a Monday New Yorker puzzle. Smoke screen. Hmm. Arizona flats. Arizona flats. Hmm. I don't know. My wordplay spidey senses are tingling for this one too. Is it like, like flats or like shoes or apartments? But that's like a British term. I don't know. Big deal. So what? So sue me? <laughs> is it going to show up yet again? If this is an M. Contemporary of Dali and Arp. So those are both surrealists, I guess. I think Hans Arp. Um, yeah, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure who that's going to be. Bourgeois Malaise. I guess that's Ennui. I have Ennui feeling of hopelessness. Um, hmm. Houston Pro. Is this going to be a Stro again? Wasn't that just on the New York, New York Times puzzle we solved on Monday? Not fresh, perhaps. Hmm. Only those who have denied their being blank play at it. Ursula K. Le Guin, The Lathe of Heaven. Huh. Denied their being. I'm not even sure what part of speech this is going to be. 
there it looks like it ends in into maybe hmm okay this is looking like business insider yeah i see uh, articles from them crop up on news feeds from time to time so it's not it's still it's it's so sumi is not ruled out here so su so this would be an e this would be a u hmm s u s that doesn't really seem like anything i'm recognizing this would be an s right yeah i'm not gonna get that one Apple Informer. Apple Informer? Like the computer company? It's... Oh, it is. It is Siri, right? The virtual assistant. I guess she would be considered an informer if you ask her a question and she answers correctly. Modern Nomad, maybe. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Bit of Halloween decor. Bat something? Hmm. Not sure. Sunbathers bathe in them. UV rays? Yeah. If you have the sun shining on you, you are bathing in UV rays. It's utterly futile. I guess that's a serfdom, maybe? Yeah. That was the political system you'd live under in a feudal society, serfdom. We'd all most likely be serfs in that, that system. Um, all right, so maybe this is an RVer. If you drive around in an, a recreational vehicle, you'd be called an RVer. Coveted root in perfumery. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know what this is. Interesting. Is this Oaf? Yeah, galute. So this looks like it's gonna be a vowel too. So is it broom maybe, like a witch's broom? Okay, that's kind of cute. Substitute for love. I guess maybe they're looking for a pet name. It's looking like it's gonna be my darling, right? Yeah. Substitute for love. Hmm. Like class issues in the classroom. Hmm, like economical class issues? Hmm. I'm not sure what they're asking for here. Natural stomach full. Huh. Is it acid? Like your stomach has acid in it all the time? Like naturally? Interesting. Where people may be brought to their knees. Al an altar, maybe? Or is this like in a church? Hmm. Come blank, come on, or a threatening instruction. Come along. Could that be threatening? I don't think so. Come alone. Yeah, <laughs> that could definitely be taken either way. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cute. All right, squeegee, eg. Um, is it rinse? I don't know about that. You're sque- you're, you're not really rinsing something if you're squeegeeing it. You're kind of wiping it clean, right? Uh, okay, hem, hem's counterpart is hem and haw. You're having trouble making a decision. You'd be described as hemming and hawing about it. Where people may be brought to their knees. Throne? I guess if you're yeah, I guess you're getting knighted, you'd like kneel in front of the throne. What is orit? Interesting. Orit root. Okay. Well I don't wear perfume too often, so that's probably why I haven't heard of it. Alright. Squeegee? Maybe that's a wiper. It's like literally describing the device that you use to squeegee. So this almost like it looks like it should be socio-political. Is it not thrown? 
what's this one here? Handle on a tractor. Yeah, that should be John Deere, right? A handle is in like a name. Um, because John Deere is the name of a tractor manufacturer. So that seems right. But it's, it can't be Thrine, right? Midwestern brand of politesse. I think that's called Minnesota Nice. I love Minnesota Nice. It's always so fun seeing that crop up in movies. Fargo is one of my favorite movies of all time, and there's lots of Minnesota Nice in that movie. All right, target for a trimmer. I guess that's a nose, <laughs> you get a nose hair trimmer. It is looking like socio-political. This, this square is really weirding me out here. Mop and Glow, I think is a brand of like floor po polish. Common possessive pronoun, it's on its own. Hmm, yeah, this is Tai Chi. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in socio-political. We're just gonna have to deal with this being a weird square. I'm gonna um, erase it just so we don't forget to come back to it later. Gestured with meaning. Hmm. Probably ends in a D. Rose like oil. Uh, I think they're talking about crude oil. Um, so that could be weld, maybe? Like it, it wells up out of the ground. Fresh could be raw. Intertwine. It almost looks like it ends in lace, doesn't it? But I wouldn't know what this this part was. I.O. is interesting. Element whose gaseous form is violet. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks like it has to be iodine. I, I did not know that about iodine. It sounds like it's very pretty. I don't think I'd want to inhale iodine, though. Vitamin often recommended as a supplement for patients with high cholesterol. Is that niacin? Maybe raw is wrong. Is it new instead of raw? Yeah, and then niacin. Okay. Intertwine. Yeah, and lace. Okay, that's why it was looking so weird. Okay. Blank, come back now. Y'all come back now. Can I just go on a little tangent about how much I love the word y'all? Like when I, I learned German in high school and you know, German has a word for you plural, it's ear. And I know French and Spanish have a word for it too. I think this is such a useful word to have, but in English we just have you. We don't have a word for plural you. So I think y'all is such a great candidate for that. And, and people kind of, make fun of it, but it's a super useful word. I think it's great. It, it has meaning, ha adds extra meaning that you don't get from the normal proper English word. There's also yins, but I think <laughs> that's a, more of a regional dialect than even y'all is, so. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. And you might hear me say it unironically every now and again. All right, embarrassed to the extreme colloquially. I guess that's dying, you're dying of embarrassment. And gestured with meaning, signed. Oh, like you're doing sign language. Oh, that's a great clue. It's not like with emphasis, but you're literally imparting meaning with your gestures. That's pretty great. Okay. Um, not fresh could maybe be sour. Like something's gone sour. Hmm. Boy, am I gonna know this name? I don't know if I'm going to. This is gonna be a really tricky area for us. I don't think it's a vowel though. It doesn't seem like it can be a vowel. Hmm. Interesting. Big deal. <laughs> Should I just put in so sue me? <laughs> oh my God. All right, well, let's put it in. It helps, let's see if it helps us get any brain waves here. I mean, Miro was a, an artist, right? I don't know if he was, um, maybe these aren't all surrealists. I don't actually know if Hans Arp was a surrealist. I know Dali was, but I'm not sure if Miro was either. So, but I, he might've been contemporary anyway. So uh, what is this? 
Is this sus? <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this. And then... <sighs> hmm. R N T O R N T O. That is so odd. I can't think of. Okay, so maybe it, the the there's there's two words and the first one ends here, so it's something two. Only those who have denied being neither being blank. Only those who have denied their being blank to play at it. Denied their being. Oh man, I can't even parse this sentence. This is so weird. Scorn to play at it? Hmm. This almost looks like it should be Mesa's, doesn't it? I wonder if this is why we have desk wrong and it's. This is why we've been having so much trouble in this area. Yeah, Mesa's. That would be like the flat. Um, like mountains in Arizona. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So then what is this? School assignment. Smoke sweet. That can be a, a ruse, right? Is, is it not Udon? Learn to play at it. Boy, that is such a tough sentence to like. Oh man, I, I, I mean, yeah. I just, I know Ursula Le Guin is like a super famous writer, and like, I just, this is just like, I don't know if this is the sentence to pick. Like, if you need to learn to, like, maybe clue it a different way. This is, this was so hard for me to parse. I don't know if you guys were able to get it faster than I was, but boy, I think it's just because like. The way it like almost stops, like this is a clause here that stops. Only those who have denied their being learn to play at it. It was just so, oh, all right. Well, you saw how much trouble I had with it. I don't need to go on about it, but boy. Okay, so I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. School assignment derm. Okay, yeah, so that's, this E was a relic of desk. So that's not actually anything. So this should be a dorm, right? Okay, so postal. Parker Posel? No, it's Parker Posey, right? Yeah, there's. I know there's an actor called Parker Posey. Okay, so maybe it's the, only those who have denied their being yearn to play at it. It's. It's. I have just have just as many complaints about this one. Okay. Anyway, um, and then this weird mystery square. I'm just gonna put a, an I. I think it has to be socio political. Even though Throne seems like it should be right. All right, let's try the eye and see if this finishes it off for us. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe it is an O after all? Is that right? No, it's not. Interesting. Oh, so maybe this is... It is an I after all, and it wasn't Throne, so this T is wrong. Ah, here we go. Oris. Okay. Yeah, maybe now we can learn what Horus is. I wonder if the goose held out on us until now. Okay, yeah. Let's find out what Horus is. And then this is going to be a shrine. Yeah. Boy, that's tricky. Okay, the, the th shrine and throne have so many letters in common. I might trip a, a bunch of people up here. All right, so we're going to finish off the puzzle, hopefully, with an S in shrine. Nice. All right. I um I really liked that puzzle. Yeah, that was great. It's interesting. I, f I feel like um, I've noticed that there isn't really themes on New Yorker puzzles. Um, I don't know if, if you guys have more experience doing New Yorker puzzles, let me know. But I, I haven't seen a single theme in um, the month or so that I've been doing them regularly. So it's interesting. Yeah, they're all just sort of solid, themeless puzzles. All right. Our reward is this detective and his partner looking at a poor murdered cruciverbalist in his home asking for clues. Yeah, it looks like there's no clues to be found. Just an empty grid. Boy, what a nightmare. Alright, featured answer is Siri. Yeah, that was a pretty clever 
misdirection there. Um, yeah, interesting. But yeah, there's a, a bunch of fun answers on like the Ithaca is gorgeous, the heebie-jeebies. This is not super exciting, but um, Minnesota nice is just so it's just such a nice answer to have in a grid there. I, I loved it. Um, I got tripped up on a couple of things too. I think my only real complaint is this, which we've talked enough about. But yeah, other than that, this was a great, real solid, um, nicely challenging puzzle. It's It felt challenging, but not unfair. That's exactly what you want in a difficult puzzle. Not too many proper names. Yeah. All right, coming up next is the Tuesday New York Times puzzle. And um, possibly a midweek New Yorker puzzle. I've been skipping those the last couple of weeks just because it's hard to squeeze them in in the middle of the week. But if that's the goal, at least. Um, and if not, I'll be definitely doing the end of the week easy New Yorker puzzle, lightly challenging puzzle, because I think that's a good, um, it's a nice little thing to have at the end of the week when all the New York Times puzzles are punishingly difficult. Uh, it's nice to have that little um, easier one in there for people that are just starting out. So if you're looking for more New Yorker action, that's kind of what's on the agenda for the future. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed solving that puzzle with me. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.